Hello, this is Billy Core. It's uh, Wednesday, April 18th, 2012, and well, subscribers, friends, I'm sad to report that um, television legend um, and host of American Bandstand and New Year's Rock and Eve, Dick Clark, has passed away today at the age of 82 of a massive heart attack. This is um, very hard for me um, because I, ever, ever since I was nine years old, I would I've watched Dick Clark on New Year's Rock and Eve every year, and I thought I'd use this video to share some of my favorite memories of Dick Clark. Um, first year I ever watched it was in um, was 1998 and 1999. Um, I had um, never stayed up for New Year's Eve before, and um, and my mom had mentioned to me a few weeks ago, right before Christmas. Um, see, I was nine years old at the time. Um, that would you like to stay up and watch New Year's and watch the ball drop? But the thing is, I didn't know what what the ball drop in Times Square was. <laughs> I thought they just some guy on top of a building t took like a giant ball and threw it down on the street or something but that obviously wasn't the case but um December 31st 1998 um I watched it and it was Dick Clark's New Year's Rock and Eve um and I was a fan for life and um in fact a tradition I've had for every single year is that I've recorded New Year's Rock and Eve and um, I even have the my the old VHS tape of New Year's Rock and Eve 1999, the first year I watched it, with the ball drop ringing in 1999, and and I put it on DVD recently, and and so I've been collecting these every year. But although a few years are missing because of um, my stupidity and not labeling my tapes and re and recording over them. And of course, nowadays for the recent ball drop, drop ball drop years, of, I've been recording on DVD. But of course, I remember the second year I watched it was the big one, the Millennium Ball Drop. Well, they said it was the Millennium. Of course, a lot of people say it wasn't until 2001. But um, I remember watching the Y2K Ball Drop that next year, and of course, Dick Clark hosted it and. I remember watching that, the ball drop, holding my mom's hand because I was so terrified. I was not so naive. I thought, I believed all this Y2K stuff. I thought all the computers would blow up at midnight and th the world would come crashing down. Well, no computers blew up. Well, I think society kind of <laughs> crashed at midnight on January 1st, 2000, but uh, that's not the point. The point is that for um, for years, Dick Clark has been a fixture on American television. Um, my parents remember watching him on American Bandstand. Um, I don't remember it, but I've seen videos and clips of it, and um, and you know, it was, and it was because of Dick Clark I I got into collecting these New Year's Ball Drop videos. Um, I a lot of my collection recently is come from YouTube because, like I said, I didn't start watching it until 1999, so I've had to fill in the gaps. But, um, I'd also, I'd also like to make an announcement, um, copyright or no copyright, on Retromercial Billy, um, sometime this week, I'm going to be uploading my copy of New Year's Rock and Eve 1999, the first year I ever watched, and, um, take a nostalgic trip back in time and remember a very very good man um, and another memory I have of Dick Clark um, is that in the early 2000s we started getting the game show network here in Greensboro and I would watch it and one show I would watch was the $25,000 pyramid and which was hosted by Dick Clark and um, I haven't watched it recently, mainly because the game show network's gone very downhill. But um, 
that was a very good show. And, oh, another very good memory I have of, of Dick Clark is, anyone remember the show Bloopers? I remember watching that in the very late 90s, early 2000s. That show was hilarious. Watching all of these old um, <laughs> outtakes of famous TV shows. Um, and he and Dick Clark would even interview um, cast members from a certain show, and they'd bring in their their bloopers. Um, that they they even have like news bloopers. And it's a I wish I'd show that in reruns on some station, but oh well. But yeah, um, Dick Clark dead at age 82. Um, it's a very very sad loss, unfortunately, and. America and the entire world actually is really going to miss the guy. So, um, take care. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.